Operation Varsity Blues, an explosive docudrama detailing how rich and famous parents were busted in the college admission scandal. We help the wealthiest families in the U.S. get their kids into school. Has skyrocketed to the top ten list on Netflix. Not a surprise to this man. We love celebrity in this country, and we pay a lot of attention to them. We love to see them rise, and we take some pleasure in their fall. I certainly don't. And their future. Justin Popperney is featured in the film because several of those indicted in Operation Varsity Blues turned to him for help. My involvement in the case began when one of the initial defendants in the case retained white collar advice to guide them. Now he represents 10 families and coaches caught in the scandal. White collar advice is a company that helps people prepare for sentencing and prison. When these parents came to you, what did they say? What is prison like? What is the food like? What type of job will I have? Am I allowed to call home? Popperney knows all the answers because in 2008, he served time for securities fraud. It was in federal prison when he and another inmate got the idea that white collar advice would be successful. So we sensed an opportunity in prison to begin educating people on how to better prepare for sentencing, prison, but also live with a sense of of dignity in the process because the waiting and wondering while dealing with a criminal conviction is very difficult. We're here today to announce charges in the largest college admissions scam ever prosecuted by the Department of Justice. More than 50 people were indicted, all prominent and wealthy. On the list, Hot Pocket heiress Michelle Janavs, self-help author Jane Buckingham, and celebrities Felicity Hoffman, Lori Loughlin, and her husband, fashion designer Massimo Giannulli. They all paid thousands of dollars to this man, seen here giving advice in his promotional company video, the key worldwide overview. Getting into the right college will set the trajectory for the rest of your son or daughter's life. William Rick Singer was a college consultant and the mastermind behind the college admission scheme. He created something called the side door, getting students in by bribing university officials, proctors, and coaches. He also created fake athletic resumes like this one. It belongs to one of the daughters of Lachlan and Giannulli. The power couple was accused of paying $500,000 to get their two daughters into USC as rowing recruits. There's a difference between Rick Singer, who was an inveterate thief and mastermind criminal for 24 years, versus Felicity Huffman or somebody else doing it once or twice. I'm not excusing it. There are a lot of people watching this saying, come on, they were cheating the system. What do you say to that? They were held accountable. They're, they're convicted felons. They've been indicted. Yes, yeah, shame, remorse, embarrassment are just a few of the words that come to represent how they feel. That remorse, a little too late for people like Liz Greenberg, who say those parents stole other students' futures. I felt angry. I definitely felt cheated and angry. Go! Liz Greenberg is the founder and president of Row LA, a nonprofit helping young women earn rowing scholarships. And it isn't like it's on a silver platter. They have to work really hard. After the cheating was exposed, Greenberg remembers a conversation with one of her girls seen in this photograph. She said, Liz, does this mean that she's taking a spot from someone like myself? And I said, yes, Juju, that is it. You've got the nail on the head. And it's a very, very unfair situation. In the end, Singer cooperated with the FBI and agreed to wear a wire in order to expose everyone involved in the scam. And those conversations were damning. I know some parents in this case are ashamed and embarrassed at things that were caught on an FBI wiretap. And they will spend the rest of their life, regardless of how long they serve in prison, regretting things that were said on a wire. Singer pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy, money laundering conspiracy, conspiracy to defraud the United States, and obstruction of justice. He is still awaiting sentencing. Now, so far, 30 parents have pleaded guilty. Most have served time. The longest sentence in this case so far has been eight months. Of course, a harsher sentence is expected for Rick Singer.
Alex, Marla, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Uh, Gina, you talk about this side door, but, but hasn't really something like that been going on forever when it comes to colleges? Yes, it has, Alex. It's something that's well known. It's known as the back door, and that's for the super rich. We're talking about the people who give donations, millions of dollars to universities. Either they purchase a building or for a foundation, and it's around the time that they're sending their kids to college, and so it works out that way, right? And that's why some people are saying the side door would have never existed without the back door, which is legal. Yeah, hmm. as long as you just give a lot, lot, lot of money, it's legal. Right. But I guess a little <laughs> bit less, it's not so legal. All right. Gina, thank you so much. In the meantime, you and